Pit 1, it's Monday, May 7th, 2018, and it's time to go to work on music. Uh, it's been a fantastic day, I'm in a really good place, and excited for a productive session as usual. Um, steadily improving my timing strategy. Uh, still definitely could use some work, uh, but I made some progress today. I'm about 30 to 40 minutes earlier to my session than I've been in the past week, which is a big win. Um, and, you know, that's still not where I want to be, but uh, I, I think I know what the next step is to get me there. And this is, you know, this is the big leverage point for me right now. So it's good to focus on it. And, you know, I'm not proud of the struggles. <laughs> um, you know, I feel like I, I should be the type of person who can just handle this and handle it easily. Um, but clearly I'm not that person yet. And, you know, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for those weak points. I'm looking for those points where I can grow. And um, it's not always pretty. <laughs> Uh, what I'm going to do today is use the time I have to jump into the online class front, update you guys with what I'm doing there, get a quick drum practice in, nothing too crazy, and then spend as much time as I have to spend on uh, building the studio up. So first priority is to measure the flutter echo that's happening primarily in the back half of the room and to try to get a read on the best way to tame that. And then I'm going to order some foam uh, for the ceiling and possibly for the rear of the room to uh, again tame the echo. And then I'm going to um, connect to the speaker system, or at least begin that process. Uh, I may do it in kind of an ugly way to begin, just because I don't know how much things are going to shift over time, uh, but I'll work on beautifying it a little later. I think step one is just like, you know, getting stuff working. So appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions as we go, and I'll update you guys in a few with what I accomplish. Here we go. If you want to have a quiet space to record, and the question often is, how quiet is quiet enough? Um, you know, I've been doing this session for about three years now, and I've yelling and stuff like that, and yet, you know, we're able to record here pretty well. Now, if you record in a space like this, you've got to be willing to do a take again if there is a motorcycle that goes by or something like that, but you can do it. You can do it. So I would encourage you to record in your apartment, at your home. You want it to be as quiet as possible, but it doesn't have to be absolutely sound. Good day overall, just clipping through some of the different spaces, hit the online class front, and just was reminded that uh, sound absorption is different than sound proofing. Sound absorption, which I'll talk more about as I get into the intricacies of what I'm doing with the studio here, uh, is more about controlling echo and uh, sound bouncing off walls in your space, whereas sound proofing is trying to prevent sound from actually leaving the room in the first place or entering the room in the first place. But the main tip the uh, instructor gives is like it's fine to record in rooms where there might be outside noise as long as you're willing to do an extra take if a motorcycle goes by or something like that. Um, then I just got a quick guitar practice and I realized it was not a drum day, yesterday was a drum day, and uh, just working on my minor pentatonics more, the room sounds killer, with the little amp in here, it's so much tighter than it was before, which is awesome. And then was just measuring the flutter echo, it's unclear to me whether it's a 6 foot resonance or an 8 foot resonance, which probably means it's both. <laughs> so my 8 foot resonance, my guess, is the ceiling to floor resonance, which I suspected, and then my 6 foot resonance, my guess, is it is the side to side walls, which are about 12, 12 and a half feet apart in this room. Um, so I'm just going to go to work on getting some foam to try to deal with that, and uh, I'll update you guys as things go. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals and enjoying the process. That's what I'm out here doing. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more.